and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. Yeah, I can get Hawkeye in here. Uh, we got some Bant Arc Bow. This is one of our favorite decks to play last format that has some new tools, has some cool little new toys, I guess we could call them. We got Risen Reef in here, and we are going to be playing a lot of Risen Reef. Uh, our next three decks that we're going to be playing through ranked all have Risen Reefs. And we also got Cavalier of Dawn, which I've been pretty impressed with, with this deck so far. I played some practice matches earlier today, you know, build, building the deck, uh, you know, went through a couple of different things. This is where I'm at right now. Um, a good a good card to hit with Arcbow. The thing about Arcbow is you want to play a whole lot of creatures, and you don't necessarily have the best removal and interaction if you're just playing a deck filled with creatures. And Cavalier Dawn can do that. The 3-3 three, three doesn't usually matter too much, giving that to your opponent whenever you're flying over the top with Shalai, Lyra, and so on. And even just like the, the Cavalier is a 4-6. Plus, if you give them a few a few golems, you can use your deputy to sweep up the golems also. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, what we're doing here today on this Sunday, uh, if you didn't see the beginning of the Grixis Control video, we are playing, I, maybe I should start with this, we're playing a lot of ranked today. Uh, we're going through four decks that um, I feel are pretty strong, and we're going to be playing through ranked. We're, our goal is to go 3-2 with each deck. Didn't quite get there with Grixis Control going 2 and 3. Because, uh, you know, 3 and 2 is winning 60%, so that's very good. 2 and 3 winning 40%, not nearly as good. Um, so that's that's our goal. Uh, but, you know, maybe we can get a 4-1 with one of these decks to make up for Grixis's 2-3. So, yeah, our deck, we're just trying to get Arcbow out here. Uh, activate Arcbow basically every single turn, putting in these things. We have a Shalai Spark Double Combo. Where if we have two Shalai's in play, then they can't target any of our creatures anymore for the rest of the game. We got our Frill Mystics to counter a whole lot of things. Also, ah, oh, sorry. Another new card that I have in the sideboard that I'm actually going to be trying is Settle the Wreckage. Because I feel like right now nobody's playing around Settle the Wreckage at all. And there's like the new vampire deck that has like the Adanto Vanguards, which can be kind of problematic at points. <clears throat> and who knows? Like maybe, maybe we can set it up like where we have the Arcpo activation and they swing in with all their creatures because that's that's very common. Our deck is behind quite a bit, and they attack with all their creatures, and we usually activate Arcpo trying to find Lyra. Like that's a very common thing. And maybe we can have the Settle the Wreckage at that point. Um. You know, so we'll see how much we like this or, you know, if the Settle should leave. Another option instead of playing Settle is playing like a second Tristani. There's a lot of mass manipulation decks running around. <clears throat> and uh, and even against Aggro, even against Esper, Tristani's not really bad against anything. Um, I'm kind of going with like the Cavalier of Gales to get more, more elementals in for the Risen Reefs. But Tristani's not really bad against anything and it... It could be that another option for the deck is to move away from Risen Reef and Cavalier of Gales and go more with Tristani and Night Pack, Night, Night Pack Ambusher and Tulsimer and things like that. That's another option. Hey, Joan Khan, but I think I like this option better, though, for now. So this is what we're going with. Yeah, Gruel Spellbreaker is not a card you want to be settled the wreckaging. That that is very true. Yep, Spellbreaker does stop settle. Um, but well, all right, let's uh let's give this a try. There we go. So we're gonna go on over to ranked. Go with Banark Bow now. The goal is three and two, but you know, maybe try to get four and one. See what we got. Good looking hands. Very good looking hands. What do you think of this this hand, Hawkeye? Is it pretty good? Hmm. Maybe not the best against. 
Dreadhorde Arcanist, though. Now a shot kills both of our creatures. Mm. Even worse. Um, yeah, we we talked about the Chandra Flames Fury before. Like we we made that Chandra deck kind of on stream, and and we were talking about Chandra's Flame Fury. Uh, the problem with the card is it is, uh, it is a six mana card, and you don't want to just play a whole lot of six mana cards and. It's it's not as good as the other six mana mythic Chandra from M twenty. And and yeah, you just don't want a, a deck filled with six mana cards too much. So we're gonna need to find you know, like we're gonna need to find Cavalier of Dawn, Deputy of Detention, cards like that. We're gonna have to get pretty fortunate with our arc bow. Here. Lyra's not bad. I feel like if I just play the Lyra, though, they could give their 10th District Legionnaire, Pro, White, and any other spell and, and just uh, attack in for lethal. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I like Golas a lot. Um, I don't know about Golas with 6 mana Niv Mizzet. I like Golas with the 5 mana Niv Mizzet. I'm not sure about the 6 mana one. I'm not very big on the 6 mana Niv Mizzet these days. Certainly was considering considering getting Shalai and then playing Lyra and having Shalai be able to protect Lyra and be able to attack for four lifelink with Shalai. But I, I think the Cavalier of Dawn killing this Dreadhorde Arcanist that would just get more spells, I think that's the way to go. So this thing has trample. I'm not very confident that we're going to be surviving here. Mm. 
Yep, Deckmaster has the M20 cards now. That's very nice. All right, Risen Reef's going to come on out here. So is this Cavalier of Gales. I frilled Mystic also. All right, let's try this. Hey, Extreme Russo. Good evening. If, if we didn't have double uh, tap land for that previous hand, we could have maybe kept it, but we did. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on, on playing Gola's 5-mana niv it pretty soon. You know, basically the same 5-color uh, Reborn deck we played before, but with Golas, because I think that's a really good addition to the deck. I don't know if I'm supposed to be deputing that season of growth. card for every single one of those spells. I feel like that's going to be a lot of cards. Yeah, our opponent's playing a... Ugh. Gross. Yeah, they're playing a Naya Feather deck. Yeah, it is really, really nice golem artwork, isn't it? It does look really cool.
All right, well, we got the feather out of there. Collision Colossus is just really good against me. Especially how, you know, I have a lot of flyers that are important with Shalai and Lyra. We'll see what we get. Hopefully Lyra. As you can see here, like drawing a settle would be incredible. If we actually draw a settle. Okay. So, I kind of want to play Knight of Autumn with like those enchantments. I feel like they're if they didn't have as much removal, they're going to have more removal now for deputy at attention. No, I'm just going to keep it the same. I suppose so. I need that land. <laughs> that was almost bad. Almost with the, the wrong land back. They have to be trying to set up playing rude, playing their creatures with protection. I will this is Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. Prepare for battle. Yeah, Feather, 
yeah, feather with uh it it gained a lot um with this set uh God's willing of course being the main thing there. But yeah, it was a really big addition. My poor arc bow. Yeah, sell the wreckage gets through God's willing. Yep. It's it's definitely possible that my opponent has... I, like, I think they have Feathers in hand, but they also have, like, Protection to go along with Feather, and they want to draw a fourth land and be able to play Feather and have, like, God's Willing or anything like that. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so now they probably drew the... The two-mana creature for the first time. I'm just hoping it's the thing that gives it indestructible and not not actually God's willing. They still have, you know, they have seven cards over there, so not, not necessarily looking the best for us, especially if they have removal for this deputy of detention. Yep. It's only worried about a card like that. Well, at least they're down to uh, four cards. Very nice combination. Hope this works. The sell the wreckage, always getting them. Sell the wreckage, always getting them. All right, 
enchantment. So they're just casting that just to draw a card because of their enchantment. But also this. So we get to so they're tapping out just, you know, drawing two cards. I don't know what happens with the Domer's Ambush there. Okay, it just stays in the graveyard. I was hoping it would go to exile, of course. Chess Novice! Alright. We got a deck tech donation to do after this. Unfortunately, that disenchant, you know, destroying both my arc bows really, really hurts. That disenchant really hurt. So I'm not, I'm not very confident we're going to be winning this. Ugh. Card so good. Let's just draw two. These things are really good. Like these, this Rhino, the Season of Growth, just all of these things just drawing so many cards. I can't really keep up. Will cleave the darkness. I can't keep up without... Not that arc bow turning, you know, the arc bow would turn these lands into five drops, which would really help. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess I have to get rid of the rhino, but I don't know how I'm beating this Gideon, but I guess we got to get rid of this rhino. You do not frighten me. This is the exact kind of matchup the Season of Growth is really good in against other creature decks. Like this this is where that I believe that card is awesome against, but this is kind of what Feather This is the this is the kind of matchup that Feather is designed to beat anyway though. Like just playing uh all these creatures with a whole bunch of very good protection pump spells that draw a lot of cards. This is the kind of matchup that that Feather is very good against. In general, the game be being this laggy and everything is is certainly really annoying me right now. It has not been this bad in months. I don't know what's going on, and it's it's really bothering me. And I'm I'm sorry for everybody. That's I don't I don't know what's going on. with it. You know, we just reset Arena right before that match. You need, definitely need sweepers Ugh, against Feather. Like, like Sell the Wreckage, for example, is awesome, awesome card against Feather. Need more of those. No, the update didn't change the resolution. I already checked that. Yeah, no, I, I checked the graphic settings. Yeah, no, that's all. That's all it's supposed to be. Uh, Farian is back. Thanks so much for that resub there, Firean. Thank you very much for that uh, that support. I appreciate that.
fifth sub of the day. I probably should not have played my second arc bow. Like, when I played the second arc bow, that was probably wrong during that last match. I probably should have played it and been able to activate it, like, the same turn. Waited till I could do both. So, arc bow is very good against mono blue. Because their whole goal is to counter things, and arc bow doesn't let you counter stuff. But that's, that's their whole bit, is countering all the things. Alright, Sea Wookiees. Take care. Yeah, I did. I did ha had you. I spent, I spent gems on leveling up like five levels. Four or five levels. Something like that. Because to get to like the Soren. So I was like close to the Soren. I was like, oh man, the Soren would be really good to have. Let's get this Shalai in play. And then it turned out it was the six mana Soren, not the three mana Soren. I was like, oh, I was going to have to use a wild card on that thing anyway. And, you know, got like some different packs and everything. And yeah, it was the wrong Soren. So that didn't work out. All right, mono blue. I want baffling ends, deputies. I don't know, Risen Reef may be pretty good here. As a card advantage engine, but maybe not. I'm worried about Time Wipe resolving. I don't want Settle whatsoever because of Siren Storm Tamer. Worried about Time Wipe resolving. Knight of Autumn, of course, destroys Curious Obsession, which is nice. Dovin's Veto helps uh, these things resolve, which is also nice. So it's basically what do I want to play out of these two cards in my last slots here. My two, my two last slots. I don't want Tristani at all. Could play Time Wipe. Um. Luna, getting that Twitch Prime sub in here. Let's get some hype in the channel for our new sub. Thank you so much, Luna. I'm going to play Vetoes. Uh, sixth sub of the day. Yeah, that's the only time Tristani can be relevant is whenever your opponent has Entrancing Melody. So not only do, does your opponent have to Entrancing Melody something of yours, but then also you have to have your the five mana creature resolve, and then you get your other creature back, and that has to make the difference. Because Tristani being on the ground, like they fly over it, it's, it's, a, it's, not, it's not a very common scenario that... Tristani is going to be making the difference. Oh man, this this lag is bad. Um, no ceilings yet. Yeah, you're probably going to have to spend your wild cards, but being you know how you're saying how you're hesitant of where to spend them is. Is okay. Like that's that's um that's definitely natural and everything. So you're you're gonna kind of have to, you know, if you're not gonna be spending, you know, if you don't spend money on the game, you have to pick, you know, a deck to kind of go after and uh, and you know spend your wild cards towards. 
There's not really anything else to do but that. I probably should have just ditched the spark doubles, I guess. I don't know. Spark doubles can be really strong at times, though. I mean, I wish I could play Arcbo and Lyra this turn, but I can't. Um, yeah, Rolo, that does sound like a kind of a cool deck. Four color Cavalier, Unclaimed Territory, and Lotus Field. That does sound like a pretty cool deck. Alright, Spark Double didn't do anything. I'm gonna take out one Spark Double for the extra Dovin's Veto. Still have one Spark Double in here. But I, I want another counter spell. I don't really want Frilled Mystic, like that's too expensive as far as a counter spell is concerned. If we get, getting Arcbow to resolve is exactly what we want, though. So I really want to see Arcbow in our opener. Okay, good. We want to hopefully let it resolve. Yeah, so I want them to play a one-mana creature on turn one. I do not want them to just do Island Go. For spell pierce. Perfect. I could have had I could have just gone with the Paradise Druid last turn so that I could have had, you know, like the Baffling End plus Veto or the Arc Bow plus Veto the following turn, and honestly maybe that's better. I was just so focused on getting this thing in play, though. Uh, we do need to hit land drops, though, of course. Really hope we draw a land here. Yeah, lack of dues, I don't I don't understand I don't know what you're referencing with the music being out of tune. I don't I don't know too much about that. Hey 
Paper Tash. All right, now we got the five mana. Start acti activating Arc Bow for five, which is which is what we want to be doing. Come on. So we don't we don't actually have to cast. I mean, I would like to cast Lyra, of course, but we don't actually have to cast anything else now to make sure they can't counter anything. Third Curious Obsession, still not as annoying as the lag that we're experiencing here. That's not ideal. Say that was not ideal. I do, Pablo. Yeah, I reset the game often. Okay, we're still kind of alive. The Spectral Sailor is just so nice, you know, just drawing cards and everything here. They gotta have a bounce spell. No? Really? 
Wow. Huh. Not not the expectation there. That was not the expectation that I had there. Our opponent played that so well. The whole game. Before that. Alright, I'll, I'll try resetting again. Our opponent played that so well. Because, yeah, we had the first strike and the lifelink also, so... Even, even without first strike, you know, we still would have just gained five life. Even without first strike, so... They just had to not realize that it had lifelink, I suppose. Crazy. All right, we haven't really, you know, we haven't played against a a more controlly kind of deck where we really want the Risen Reefs yet. You know, just played against two aggro decks so far. Uh, I don't think that Mono Blue should be playing Brineborn Cutthroat at all. I don't think that that card is where Mono Blue wants to be since it doesn't have any kind of invasion. Yeah, I, I do like Spectral Sailor a ton, though, in Mono Blue. I think that Spectral Sailor is a really nice card for the deck. I think I think that's an awesome card. Uh, this is what we lost to before. Um, yeah, let's just get this in play. All right, Naya Feather again. Yay, no removal. Hmm. We're going to slam Lyra here. I imagine they're going to struggle taking it out. Our our previous opponent play, was playing Disenchant. That was playing this deck. Alright, didn't work out too well. Slam and Lyra. Guess I should have had Frilled Mystic or. Yeah, need to just Frilled Mystic or Arcbow. Playing the Lyra ended up being the, the wrong decision. Because just countering this season of growth would have been really nice. Now they get to draw all these cards.
I think this may be my worst matchup, this Feather deck. Come to think of it. Especially the, this version with Season of Growth. I want to hit White Cavalier here and destroy this Krenko. I don't have anything Cheetos. I have, I have a this bottle of water from yesterday, from last night. Still over here. And this is over. I'm not going to win this matchup. Maybe I'm not supposed to play Baffling End. Yes, Matthew, I understand the problem is with my internet right now. I understand the problems on my end. I just don't know why it's bad right now or what to do about it. And I'm not... Why am I keeping this? And it is, it is definitely frustrating me. I, under I understand how what Feather does against Dovin's Veto. I understand the interaction. This sitting on trying to put as much removal as I have in my deck plan didn't work at all. And so I'm going to try a counter magic plan This this game. And try to maybe counter some of their removal or something. I don't know what. Them not drawing Feather is probably step one for these Dovin's Vetoes to be decent.
Hey, HXC. Sunday's going okay. It's my stream and game has been lagging quite a bit, and that's been really, really frustrating. Besides that, everything else is going just fine in life. I mean, I need to play this Paradise Druid because I need to be able to play Dawnbringer or Cavalier of Dawn with Dovin's Veto backup. But it's just not ideal, of course. It's like if we draw a land, we can have, you know, play one of these and have the, the counter spell to help protect them. Hey, Rythia. Rifle. Howdy. No land. <sighs> no, I don't think the Chandra Tribal thing is too jank. No. So if I Frilled Mystic that thing, then they get to kill my Frilled Mystic during combat. I mean, this is just lethal. Nah, uh, I, I can't. I can't counter this. It's lethal. With the Reckless Rage, I, I had to just let that resolve and chump block the 3-3. And that was just very dead. All right, I really hope I don't face that matchup again. It's kind of unfortunate getting paired against that twice. It's not a matchup that we want to... Like, if you have a whole lot of Naya Feather running around, I don't think you want this Ban Arc Bow deck. I think we'd have to change this deck up quite a bit.
Yeah, I like the green cavalier in here. That's yeah, so that's it's not a bad card if you yeah, gotta replace some white cavaliers. Green one's good. Yes, we played two out of three matches against Naya Feather, therefore there's a lot of Feather. I don't know, did we play against Feather in the 20 matches yesterday? Like, maybe once? Um, yeah, I think we did maybe twice. I don't, I don't think you're running into Feather. Like, I don't think Feather is... 10% of the metagame. It's probably less than 10%. So. Yep. That's, that's what you want. You want... Yeah, uh, sweepers are definitely good against Feather. Sweeper, hand disruption, disruption, cheap cheap removal. Like basically, the Grixis deck we're just playing. I'd be happy to play against Feather all the time with the Grixis deck. Not with this deck. Correct. Best of one and best of three use the same rank. Yes. That's kind of the stress of playing Deputy of Detention, Cavalier of Dawn, like those kind of cards, and playing Frilled Mystic. Is that is that kind of stuff can happen, you know, like Meditate. Well, we know the bottom of our library is just all lands, so that's good. We put eight lands to the bottom. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. I guess it should just be attacking with the deputy detention also. There's a free attack.
Risen Reef. Now this is the matchup for Risen Reef. Just destroy the Risen Reef. They're down to one card. This isn't a fight you can win. I get that card advantage. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. really annoying. Definitely kind of felt like they had a, a Dovin's Veto. Dang. Dovin's Veto is unfortunate. That Arpo is really strong. Yay! Yay, no more Vetoes. Lame. I can no longer stand by and watch. I've got time. Risen Reef. Yeah, that is true that Cavalier does bring back, um, that's a good point, Cavalier does bring back uh, Arc Bow whenever it dies. This is hardly my worst defeat. Let's do this way, actually. All right, so I'm putting back, I guess, Lyra. I'm 
I'm putting the Frilled Mystic on top. No, we'll just we'll just cast Frilled Mystic, honestly. Alright, final answer. Yeah, we'll just we'll just cast Frill Mystic. Yeah, so my plan my plan whenever I played the Cavalier Gales, my plan was to put the Frill Mystic back and then arc, you know discard like a land and arc bow into it. Um But withdrawing all these other good things. Yeah, elemental decks are legit. Yep. Like all three of these decks that that we're playing up next. Oh, we're one and two right now. I didn't update that. These are all some Risen Reef decks. I think Shalai is is more important than Lyra. When I put Lyra back, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not I'm not casting Shalai, yeah. We're we're certainly wanting to hold up for Old Mystic. And good thing that we are with them having the Command the Dread Horde. I think that was lethal. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I had enough to play Shalai and activate Shalai at the end of that game. I'm pretty sure. Not exactly sure, though, but pretty sure. All right, let's get Tristani in here. Do not want Deputy Detentions. This is not a good matchup for Deputy Detentions. I do want the Dovin's Vetoes. Oh, did our opponent actually do too much... Did they actually command for too much that was going to kill them? You know, I didn't didn't really need to count because we just filled Mystic. Um, now we saw Kaya's Wrath from them. We'll get rid of Spark Double. Maybe play one Spark Double. So do I want one Spark Double... Or Cavalier of Dawn. We'll get the other Cavalier in here. Yeah, I like Knights are Knights are just fine in this matchup. Honestly, maybe I should be taking out the Lyras for Knights, to be honest. I've had a surprising number of opponents miscount on Dread uh, Command the Dread Horde and kill themselves. Like, it's not something that's, like, it's a thing that actually happens, which is, doesn't seem like it should be a thing that happens. Yeah, night, night destroying Ascanta could be pretty big. For sure. Right now, I just have, like, Cavalier of Gales for Ascanta. Or not Cavalier of Gales, Cavalier of Dawn. Pass turn. Yeah. Let me get some Leyline of Anticipations up in this deck. They miss land drop. I'm not sure if I need Frilled Mystic up here, honestly. I think I'm going to wait on... I think I want to keep this Frilled Mystic in hand.
Huh. I don't really want to play another card into Kaya's Wrath, though. Ah, that was the one... The one... The thing... The reason to play Keep Frilled Mystic no up was was that, if they hit if they had land drop to fairy. So that went poorly for me. Stop that. Now Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of weird that it asks you if you want to counter the spell with Frilled Mystic. Um, I don't... I, I don't know if opponent's wrong to play Scrylands. I don't know. I'm... I don't... I don't want to say it's wrong. That's, I know that'd be pretentious of me. We will meet again. I shouldn't attack with the Paradise Druid. All right, worked out. Yep, here's Dreadhorde. The reason not to attack with the Druid is I could have played Risen Reef and Cavalier of Gales last turn. Um, which, you know, kind of worked out that my opponent did have the Kai's Wrath. Uh, but I didn't want to play the Risen Reef without being able to do both. You know, so we would have, even even if they had Kai's Wrath, though, we would have got the two Risen Reef triggers and the draw three, discard, t draw three, put two cards back. You show remorse. I'm known no for my obstacles. excellent timing. Huh. One's not very much life. I've got it. I have just the trick for this. I better find a bunch more Kai's rats. We're gonna have to tuck Risen Reef. Reverse. All right. Oh my gosh, I just ran into that Narset. I'm dumb. Uh, Narset. Wow. That's gonna wreck me.
That's gonna wreck me. Hone your prowess. See, there we go. I was protecting myself from Thought Erasure. Perfect. Perfect plan. Mind and body should move in unison. Put thoughtfulness before action. Perfect plan. Of course they can instant speed Thought Erasure with the help of Teferi, but it looks like they're digging for another Wrath, which is definitely good for me because the Tristani is going to require a Wrath as well. So they don't have a Wrath right away here. I'll protect you. Hmm. They did not have very much removal for going down to one life. With that command, the Dread Horde. They did not have much removal. Looks like they had no removal. <clears throat> Maybe they just had, like, Disfigure or something. We saw that card before. Two and two. <sighs> no business winning that. Well... We got there. Had it the whole time. Had it the whole time. Wanted to put my spells back on top. <laughs> yeah. We were not punished there. You can safely say I was not punished. Alright, last match here with Ban Arcbow. Let's hopefully... Get the three two. Hmm. I can have risen reef and then spark double risen reef and then spark double risen reef. Not really ideal against an aggro deck, TBH. Alright, or we could have Shalai, then Spark Double Shalai. It's, it's not like the Shalai, Spark Double Shalai is going to be really that great here with them already having a knight that is going to be killing Shalai and and everything and then uh, but it's it's what we got ooh okay that's not so bad I actually think Deputy is probably a better play this turn. Uh, no, I don't have any plans to play a Feather deck anytime soon. I mean, I wouldn't be. I mean, I'll probably play a Feather deck at some point. I just don't. I don't have any Feather deck on the docket. Yeah, our loss our losses both our losses were deny a feather with this deck.
Draw a land. Draw a land. No. Ugh. One turn of them drawing a land. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. I should have played Lyra. I was already kind of. Yeah, I should have played Lyra. I was already, like, I was already had my mind up of playing the Shalai before I drew that Lyra. I need to play Lyra. All right, played that too fast. All right, let's see. Bring in like our whole sideboard. If I would have blocked the lizard, they would have killed my creature. Like, their other creature was a 3-1. If I block it with a 2-4, they, they get a trigger with Judith to do an extra point of damage. They would have killed my creature, and... Uh, yeah. And, um... Put in... And gotten their, their two uh, death touchers back. Yeah, the deck could... Yeah, you could make this a Vanifar deck. You'd have to... I mean, you would want to change a whole lot, honestly. You'd... Um, yeah, like this... Vanifar would be a completely different deck. Like, this deck... Has... Um, like, the strength of this deck is... Like, the powerful four or five mana cards that you put into play. Uh, that are good at having to play, especially instant speed. Um... Having <clears throat> having Vanifar, you want to play a lot of creatures with ETB triggers and, and creatures that you don't mind sacrificing. And that would be a different looking deck than what we have here. We're honestly drawing just fine. With having Arcbow in play, really, what you, what you want to do is just draw land. So like, and because you want your creatures in in your deck. So this is this is honestly going just fine for us. Um, I don't I don't actually want to activate this. Why can't I Why can't I back up? I guess I just have to activate it now. Yeah, I guess I just don't have a choice. I wanted to do that at end step. Okay. Worked out. Okay, so yeah, so I, I had to do like arc bow equals 10.
we want to hit that spark double. Hit spark double Shalai, that'd be cool. Of course, now they have the Knight of the Ebon Legion, though. And Death Touch doesn't really save us. Even if I hit Lyra, they can pump the Knight twice and make, make Knight bigger than Lyra. So Cavalier of Night, or no, it's Dawn, sorry, Cavalier of Dawn. Um, we got all three Cavaliers still in here. That's a very good hit. Of course, Deputy as well. It's hard not to take Lyra, though. Ugh. So we're just going to race this thing, right? Hmm. Yeah, we're playing Bant Arcbow over here. worked out. Oh no, this knight's pretty scary. We've just drawn land every single turn and it's, uh, it's honestly just fine. I think if we didn't have Arc Bow, how dead we would be. <laughs> this game, we kept five lands, a land of war off, and an Arc Bow. Oh no, we did. We drew one Arc Bow. Never mind. We discarded the Arc Bow we drew that one time. We did draw an Arc Bow. So after keeping five lands, we've only drawn lands and one Arc Bow. I only had two Cavalier of Dawn in. Should probably have all three take out the scales. Yeah, I don't know why Spark Double didn't have the counter on that. I I couldn't quite see Hawkeye's kind of in my way. Yeah, Spark did Spark Double just not have a counter on it? Is Spark Double bugged right now? We have to shock if we want to be able to play Deputy next turn. I don't necessarily know if we need Deputy next turn, but... No, I'm going to wait on Deputy, but... Just saying, if we wanted Deputy, we had to shock there.
Hmm. Yeah, the previous game it had a counter whenever we used Deputy the first game, but then this this game it didn't have a counter. It's odd. All right, I admit I kind of walked into that. Yeah, I think I should have double blocked Judith, yeah. I haven't played played this game too terribly well. So they they haven't been playing lands over there, so they probably have a bunch of bunch of spells. So we'll see if we can beat a bunch of spells. Unclear if we can or not. Hopefully they don't have a shock as well. Okay, good. Even if we draw Arc Bow, I'm not going to activate Arc Bow for three. I'll just play this land. Down to three. All right, so they have like strike. That's a really good draw. So I'm going to trade Shalai for the two Dreadhorde Butchers. That's probably a fine trade. We 
think that's worth it because that's still that makes it so they just have a Judith to our board. This is not a good attack anymore. That Phoenix is really nice. Because they could... I mean, I would trade my Cavalier Dawn and my and my Golem token just for the Judith by attacking. Because they would get the Phoenix back. Well, that was a great draw. I was, you know, going to be picking up the Deputy of Detention and Time Wiping. Because Deputy would have been able to take out the Phoenixes, but good old Spark Double. Very nice draw. And there we go. Alright, 3-2. Hard fought 3-2. For Bant Arkbo there. As we talked about at the beginning though, 3-2 is exactly what we want. We'll take that every time. Uh, it did, so, you know, what we learned, we learned that our matchup against Naya Feather is quite poor. Um... That was certainly something we learned there. Yeah, we could have yeah, we could have attacked with Golem and Knight and then time wiped. Uh previously. I was I was gonna be doing that the next turn. Uh, you know, whenever they played like the other Phoenix also. But I wanted, I wanted, like, they had three spells in hand there that last turn. We knew, we knew that all three of their, their cards in hand were spells. Um, and so, I guess it might have been two, either two or three. I wanted to give them opportunity to play, like, you know, another creature or two there, because that's why I just figured that they, how they were stuck on land there for a while. I thought they had some more creatures. So, it's not like we were going to be winning the game immediately after that. So, I wanted to give them a chance to play some more creatures before I time wiped, uh, since we had, we had some time. Hey, Johnson, uh, Johnson, I'm doing very good. Hope you're doing good as well on this Sunday. Anyway, kind of back to our wrap up here. Uh, yeah, our, our Naya Feather matchup's rough. Um, don't know exactly what we'd want to do with that. I'd kind of have to explore the card pool and everything a little bit of what to do with that matchup. But the Risen Reefs, so the main reason why we have the Risen Reefs in here is to shore up the Esper Control matchup. We saw how important this card was against Esper Control. Uh, just drawing us a whole lot of cards. Usually, like, like, like the Shalai, Lyra, Cav like, usually we're okay against aggro with all this top end, and then you know bringing in baffling ends and stuff sideboard wise. So usually, we're, like, we're okay against aggro with this deck. You know, it's not we're not perfect. We don't win all the matches or anything. But uh, Esper Control was was something that we kind of struggled a little bit more with. But I think Risen Reef helps out that matchup a ton. Hey, R Y Z. Rise alive. Thanks for that support. Let's get some hype votes for our new sub. Um, and uh, what we what we found is that we were we still struggled against Naya Feather as a as an aggro deck, even with the the deputies like getting a fourth deputy in here. And settle and everything. So I don't, I don't know exactly what I want to do about that matchup. I'd have to, 
I have to really kind of go through the carpool and everything, see what we want to do there. Uh, we don't really do very much with Cavalier of Gales. This could be Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, this could be, it honestly could just be Tristani. I wanted to play an extra Cavalier for the Risen Reefs, but this could just be Tristani in the main deck because there's there's not a matchup where Tristani's bad against these days. Because it's kind of like everybody's playing like aggro where Tristani's good. Esper Control, Tristani's good. Or um, Bant Manipulation, like, or, you know, like the Mass Manipulation decks, like where you really want Tristani. Like we played against like Mono Blue, that's like one of the only matchups you don't want Tristani in. It's kind of good against everything. So honestly, it maybe it should be main over like that Cavalier of Gales there. Um, now this is not a, a Vanifar deck. Risen Reef would go in a Vanifar deck, but no, this this isn't a Vanifar deck. Like you don't want to sacrifice your deputy at attention that just exiles something. You don't want to sacrifice your lie. You know, this this is not a Vanifar deck. A Vanifar deck would look a lot different. Um, but yeah, Arcbow is awesome. We never got to do Shalai Spark Double stuff. Unfortunately. We never even got to do like Lyra Spark Double stuff, which is also awesome. We didn't really even get to do Frilled Mystic, then then Arcbow find a spark double and Copy your Frilled Mystic. Didn't even get to really do that. Spark Double didn't do a ton for us. But we had that game, that last game, where we got to copy the Deputy of Detention. So that was really cool. Um, Immortal Sun. I've had Immortal Sun in the deck before to fight Esper Control. But they're all playing so many Disparks these days. And, you know, six mana is a lot. <clears throat> moved away from Immortal Sun, and I'm glad we have. I think we're okay like with the Risen Reefs and Frilled Mystics and Counter Spells and, and all that kind of stuff. I think we're okay against uh, Asper without Immortal Sun. Yeah, maybe some Prism Realms. I'm not sure. Um, no, we don't really need Null... Like, the aggro matchups were usually pretty good against. Like We have a lot of big bodies against aggro. It's... Yeah, like that Feather deck... I don't know what I'd want to do there. Like, that Feather deck felt pretty rough. Um, but anyway, we're going to move on to our next deck. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I would appreciate that. But thanks for watching some Bant Arcbow, and I will see you for the next video.